Hi YouTube, Tim Munkert from Munkert Education here. In this video, we're going to look at installing different Windows terminal themes. So I have an Ubuntu installation of the Windows subsystem for Linux open here, and this is the Ubuntu theme. Now, if I go here and open up a, a, another tab here with my settings in it, which I can do with control comma or just go and click on it, um, I can go and I see I have some color schemes. I have Campbell, Campbell PowerShell, Desert, which is one I just installed, one half dark, one half light, so on and so forth. And I've picked the Ubuntu color scheme as of now. Now, if I want to add a theme, well, that's pretty easy. So I'm going to minimize this. And there's this website, windowsterminalthemes.dev. Okay, so all you have to do is search for Windows Terminal Themes in your favorite browser. This should come up, windowsterminalthemes.dev. You can switch between the dark or the light here. I'm going to pick another dark theme. Click on this. And you can scroll on down. you got a ton of different themes. So, I mean, let's just take a look here. If I go down, um, maybe they have a, oh, they have like a Monokai, the commander theme. Uh, so this is a, a different terminal. So let's click on this and let's get the theme. Okay, so now we've got the theme. We're going to bring back our terminal back up. And we're going to go to the left-hand corner here where it says open, open JSON file. This is the settings.json. So I'm going to open that. And it's going to give you a choice of what app you can open up it up in. I'm opening it in Notepad. If I go on down, I scroll on down. I'm now into the theme section here, or the schemes, rather. And it's right actually before it says themes. You can just add it here. Um, so if I go down to the bottom here, I'm just going to put a comma. And then I'm going to paste in the theme and then save it with control S. And now you see it's updated in the background here. So I have Monica Commander. So I can select this. Uh, I can go in down set as default and click save. And now if I go back, I see I have this different theme. I have the Monica Commander theme set up, okay? So you can install as many themes as you want here. Um, and then you switch between them. So Desert's another one. I installed that, let me set that as default. I'll click save. You notice it'll change a little bit again. You see it's a little bit greener here for my prompt and so on. So that's pretty much all there is to it to installing Windows Terminal themes. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.